Welcome to DXB Today. We've got a fantastic show for you that I personally can't wait to learn from. So let's find out what's coming up on today's show. Coming up, we have the green planet with our very own Katie. And the final second part of Nimi's exclusive interview with Jada Pinkett Smith. Cannot wait to see the rest of that interview. It was very uh, interesting on Friday as well. <laughs> interesting. So, so <laughs> do, we, do we have to say the full name or can, is she infamous enough now just to say Jada? Come on. We have to wait to see the interview. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's talk about what is happening on today's show, shall we? We're talking all about content creation. And I think it's really important because we've been speaking about the younger generation, it pains me, the Gen Zs. So many people, like, they don't want to be doctors and lawyers, they want to they want to be content creators. Right. So how do we make that happen for Apparently, these guys? like, some research shows that it's the number one career choice. If it was up to kids, I think it was like a, it was a study done on 12 year olds, like a thousand 12 year olds, and like 90% of them wanted to be YouTubers or bloggers. And yeah, that's fascinating. I mean, it makes sense, right? Um, look at how much money can be made. Uh, the majority of the time they're on their phones and on their pads and on the screens. Yeah. So make money out of it, why not? And the thing is, is Visa, the credit card company, if you like, they've actually just launched a brand new initiative as well in the UAE to help these Gen Zs kind of make it more accessible for them because so many of them want to get into it yeah. don't think they can can they afford it obviously they need a trade license so it's a really really good initiative so yeah i think Khaled Delamri is is leading that That's and giving right. them a lot of good advice and yeah there's a lot of good advice out there i mean what do you guys think is it uh, for me because this is was a dream of mine i know i'm not gen z i'm a millennial <laughs> but still this, gen is, z a, to this me, is a dream i have uh, very consistently pursued for many many years and you know, a little bit of it is luck, but I think if you're persistent enough, you've got something unique, you've got something educational or entertaining that you can do it. I think it's interesting because, I mean, you two are parents. My nephews and niece were born here. Like, my, my nephew, uh, Aston, is 10. He's all, you know, he's constantly wanting to do stuff like this. Uh, are your kids the same? They want to do YouTube in there? A hundred percent. My little one is obsessed with uh, roller coasters. Okay. So he takes my phone and he talks about roller coasters and he begs me to watch YouTube so he can listen to people talk about roller coasters. So he just goes to Motion Gate and he did like a four minute vlog last time we were there. We have just arrived <laughs> and this roller coaster is over and this is the highest one. And he can like barely speak and it will never be in my content by the way, but wants to be his own YouTuber. That's it, he's his own person. And he's got, look, look when you've got parents like you and your husband, like you've got to be your own person. They can't you know, be in the, what's the really sense. interesting is I found it fascinating that my nephews will watch people online play Minecraft, yes. right? That's so weird. So you're a bit like, hang on, well, why? And then he turned around and said to my brother, but you watch football, oh, right? Look it at makes that. sense. Look at that. So why not? He wants to hone his skill, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I still think like football is a lot more engaging and active and you've got teams that you're supporting. I guess so. But watching someone just sit and open a toy like it. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, weird. good for them. Yeah. One of the one of the things that uh, my children like to watch is uh, these influencers doing luxurious things. So th now they're like, oh, have you been business class, daddy? <laughs> oh, can we go business class? Daddy? <laughs> now, like let's see who our guest co-host is tonight, because he is someone who has been an influencer for quite a while, but he also does something else. Who is it? Hi, I'm Walid al Musrati. I'm an influencer, and I can't wait to be with you in the studio. Waleed is going to join us in a few minutes right here in the studio. But before that, I had the chance to visit Dubai's very own tropical rainforest and check out their brand new outdoor nature park. It is, of course, the Green Planet. It was so exciting. I met a sloth. Let's take a look. Today, I'm at the Green Planet Dubai because they are about to open their brand new outdoor attraction, their nature park. It looks absolutely incredible. Let's go and have a look around. So the nature park is a brand new experience here at the Green Planet. It features nine brand new gardens. Uh, these gardens feature vibrant plants from around the world, different uh, habitats, different ecosystems, from a rainforest to an orchid garden. Uh, even things like vegetables and flourishing fruit uh, patches that we can harvest food from as well. It's quite incredible. Obviously, we, as I said before, the Green Planet has been so successful inside. Now, in terms of 
the animals then. So what animals are then going to be outside in the nature park? Any or is it a surprise? Tell us everything. So right now we have 20 very, very rare and unique animatronic insects that we see around us now. They're not live, they are mechanical, but they do offer a new educational experience that we can implement for all of our guests, but also for our vast uh, school programs that we have here. So the animatronic bugs is just a new visual way that we can educate about these small insects that are sometimes overlooked um, in, in general conservation, right? Uh, everyone loves the pandas, the sloths, the lemurs that we have here. We don't have pandas, sorry. The sloths, the lemurs, but um, focusing on some of these smaller animals that might be endangered as well. And of course, we do have some of the real insects inside that we guess can learn about, things like tarantulas, millipedes, giant snails, centipedes, and a variety of beetles as well. So we're constantly trying to implement new initiatives that reduce our carbon footprint, that reduce our waste and increase our recycling, increase our sustainability as far as water uh, conservation and even looking at new alternative energy solutions uh, in the future. So I'm here with Lemon. Let's see what she has to say about the new nature park at the Green Planet Dubai. Not much. <laughs> what a truly stunning addition to one of Dubai's most incredible attractions at the Green Planet Dubai. Make sure you come down and check out the nature park. I'm off, off on the adventure trail. All right, weather is great. Sounds like a great excuse to go visit that new venue. Way to go, Green Planet. Way to go, Katie. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, our co-host is a growth-centric influencer with 18 years of experience in the world of media. A dentist and content creator, he aims to showcase places and cultures through his storytelling. Please welcome Walid onto the show. Oh, hey, Walid. Thank you so much for the introduction. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dina. Now, I've been yeah. checking out your content for quite a while now, and I do, I want to start off with a story. How does one go from being a dentist to being like, <laughs> ah, forget all those years I studied. I studied uh, forget that. Let's go travel the world. Yeah, let's and go, I had to do a laser for my eyes because of all these studies. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's more about my passion. So I started working on my, so, not social media, it was before I was doing like an online radio show, like a podcast now. So I was doing that when I was in high school. So I started doing that before even starting with dentistry. Yeah. Then I finished my dental and I, I used to love to be a dentist mm, mm. Yeah. and I still do. Mm. But then you realize how much work it was. You're like, it's I want to have fun. I want freedom. <laughs> <laughs> because like with dentistry you have a human's health in front of you so you can't like go and do a story or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I and bet you do I, 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 I bet you I, do I, social media in I, your when I used to because I worked five years in dentistry okay. so I was doing as a dentist and also handling the social accounts for the clinic so, wow. <laughs> so did yeah. anyone think it was like you know, you're crazy, you're leaving this like incredible profession that you've studied for to what most people think is and, you're just doing some stuff. And like media. dentist is a rich person and yeah. you'll get uh, you're much more money. You're not rich? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> 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 but people must have thought you were crazy. Everyone. Really? Everyone says that. And until now, people, they'd like call me, hello, Dr. Walid, we have a <laughs> brand. I'm like, I'm not a doctor <laughs> anymore. So, but people, they always link that you have to have this job, which will always get you like an, a, a stream of income that you'll always make you happy. Mm. But for me, it's more about the freedom, about uh, not uh, even a nine to five job or something. It's I want to travel. I can travel. I can do whatever I want. Uh, I mean, and you've got your safety net of being a dentist. Yeah. But how many years does it take from you deciding, hey, this looks like something I want to pursue? How many years did it take you to establish yourself? Yeah. And what did you do and learn, and how can we learn from it? Oh, well. <laughs> Listen to Dina <laughs> taking all the notes. I mean, so I when I was doing it, I started like growing up with the social media thing when the platforms were going on. So then I started working with TV channels, even with Dubai TV. Yep. I worked before as handling the social accounts for the shows. And then I decided, why don't I handle my own accounts, mm -hmm. like grow more and benefit from what's going on in the world? Because at the, like 10 years ago, it was just the beginning of influencers and this uh, type of uh, job, which is now a job. So uh, then I decided that I'm gonna more concentrate on myself. Okay, I will do work on a side as a freelance, but I will concentrate on myself. But it's only in Dubai where I found that I can have uh, like content as for our living. 
because I, I moved a lot mm. and everybody was telling me, what did you keep moving? You can't, we just can't <laughs> know where you are. But when I came to Dubai, it was just a visit. Uh -huh. And then I decided that this place, they like understand how marketing is going on, how the future is going on. And I found out that I can do it for a living over here. So even though like some people, they say, would you go back to dentistry? I would. But if maybe, you need to. Uh, yeah, beca because even dental clinics now, if it's not famous on social media or if they don't do marketing on social media, they're not there. Well, uh, I know Dr. Appa. Um, yeah. And yeah, he's doing big, big, massive things from yeah. LA to Dubai. Exactly, and yeah, exactly. So and you find him also concentrating on social media. You Most can't, definitely. everything needs social media right yeah. now. So tell me more about the podcasting, because I didn't know that you, you, done, you did yeah. podcasting from before as well. Yeah. Are you going to revisit uh, that? I'm not sure because I did that. I used to, my parents, they were against me doing media. So I used to close my bedroom and talk to like uh, celebrities and do interviews online. So even my parents, they just knew a few years ago. So, <laughs> so well, that's really interesting because whether it's a cultural thing or not, I doubt it because even, you know, most parents would think, you know, they'd want their children to have a proper job. Yeah. So what advice would you give then to these Gen Zs that want to become? these content creators yeah, and like they have their parents telling them the same thing. I guess even now parents, they are changing a bit of their thinking because all kids now, they want to be YouTubers. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. How many YouTubers will you have? But uh, the thing is uh, like my parents, now they, they f see that I'm happy with cool. this, that I'm living uh, w with this. I never asked for anything. So I believe that it's always give your kids what they want to work for their passion, not just for the money or for to be on the safe side or everybody does that. So it's always about your passion, about your how you like to live your life. That's the main thing. I love it so yeah. much. And obviously we've got the parents of the younger generation yeah. right here, so we'll de <laughs> yeah. delve into that. Well, you're going to stick around for the rest yeah. of the show. So please, we've got plenty more to for ask sure. you. So Thank you. For now, let us find out who is going to be our performer on tonight's show. Hello everybody, we are The Mirrors, an acoustic trio based in Dubai. We are Jimmy from Egypt, Michael from England and Luisa from Colombia. Looking forward to seeing The Mirrors later on do with their amazing performance. Now, after the break, our next guest is someone who has made his legacy by asking the question, how much do you pay for rent in Dubai? <laughs> 